Welcome to the second part of our web design series in HTML and in this video we're going to look at the basic structure of our very first web page. How do we set up the basic structure? So let's talk about first of all what is an HTML tag. So an HTML tag is a rule that applies to whatever follows after the tag. So you can have a particular type of tag. They all have they're all different types of HTML tags. So there is an, a tag called an HTML tag. So we will say this say there's an HTML tag. Now how do you know that it's a tag? Well there are pointy brackets that go around that particular word or tag. So that is an example of an HTML tag. Now in a web browser, you don't actually see that. It, the web browser will see that and will apply the rule of that tag to whatever follows after it. So whatever happens after that HTML tag will be the rule will, for that tag will apply to it. Now when does the rule stop being applied? Well, we have a tag at the end to say, hey, this is when we must stop applying whatever that rule is. Um, so if we wanted to say from this point to that point, this is what the rule is, then that, that's the tag that we have. So we have our opening tag and we have a closing tag. Now you might say, oh, well, it's going to get very confusing with the different tags. Yes, it is. But the closing tag actually has a little slash there. So that's how you can tell when it's a closing tag. So there, for every time you have an HTML tag, or it could be any type of tag, there's the name of the tag in pointy brackets, and that rule will apply to whatever comes after it. And then you will have a closing tag, which has the slash, then the name of the tag in pointy brackets as well. And that will say this is where that rule must stop being applied. Okay, so that's the basic idea of tags. And we're going to learn a whole bunch of tags. And we're going to learn about what those rules are and how they apply to the text or the content in a web page. Now, the structure of a web page, we need to understand how we set it up first before we even give it content. We need to set up the structure of it. So we, it's obviously an HTML document. So we need to say this is an HTML document. So we need the HTML tag at the top of the document. And we need to say this is where the HTML document is ending. So that's why we have an open tag and a close tag. We will very rarely write anything outside of those two tags because we, everything we want for HTML must be inside those two tags. Now inside the HTML tag, we're going to have the actual content or the details of our web page. Now you must think of your web page as a, like a human. There we go. We've got like a human there. Now there are two parts to this human. The first part is that top bit there. There, that is the head. And just like in an HTML document, we've got a head tag. And so we have the head tag and then we have the closing head tag and whatever the rules are for the head will apply to between those two tags. Now the, head, the the other part of the of, of the human is the body part. There's the body. Now the body does not start in the middle of the head. You must make sure that you've closed the head tag and then you can only start the body. And so that's why the body tags come after the head. So you have an open head and, and a closed head. Then you have your open body tag and then your closed body tag. And that's all we actually need for the structure. We're not going to have anything beyond the body tag there. So that's why it's right at the bottom just before we close the HTML document. So there we go. So those are the basic structure of an HTML document. Now, what, what are these head and body parts for? Well, the body is all the visible web page content. Whatever goes in the body is what you will actually see in your web page. And the stuff that goes into the body part or the, the head part, sorry, is the information about the web page. Think about your brain. Think about all the things you think about. So we won't actually see the things that are in the head tag. Um, they store things like, for example, any code or details about the web page are stored in the head tag. But that's where we store like the brain stuff. The body is what we can actually see. And the head is what we think about. So we, there are lots of things that could go in the head tag. But for our case, for this, what all we're going to learn about is the title. So the title of our web page, what we want to give our, our web page a particular name or something. And we will put that in the title tag. And that, as you can see, that has to be inside of the head. And so the title, we could give it, let's say we give the title ABC. Now, what will happen to that? Now, you don't normally see the stuff that's in the head tag, but with the title, you do sort of see it, but it's not actually in the web page. So if we have a web page that pops up, do you know the top part there, the, the tab, the little the name at the top? That's where the title will appear. So that's what happens when we have the title. So we're going to set up our initial web page, and we're going to set up with the structure, and we're going to give our web page a nice title. 
So if you remember from our last lesson, we saved a file called home.html in our folder for HTML series. A reminder, if you want to open it, you can just right click on it and then go to edit in Notepad Plus and it'll open in something like this. Now, the way you know that you've saved it correctly is if you give it a tag, you'll notice that the tag will appear in blue like that. So then you know you've got the tag done correctly. So there's our HTML tag. And then somewhere at the bottom over here, we're going to have our close HTML tag. So there we go. So there's our two little tags. So that's the start of my document and there's the end. Now, did you notice when I clicked on the tag, do you see how they both went purple? Now, this is the nice feature of Notepad++. It actually tells me where that tag closes. So if by some chance I made a mistake, let's say I didn't close it properly and I click on the tag and it doesn't go purple, then I know I've made a mistake and say, hey, you should have closed it. Where, where's the end? Oh, that, that thing should have closed. So I should close it. There we go. Now I know it's correct. So as we learned, there's the opening HTML tag. Okay, correct. And then inside the HTML, we would have our head tag. It's always good to indent things so that you can work out where things are. And then we're going to close the head. And then when you click on head, you see how it went purple? Fantastic. Then we know we closed it correctly. And then I'm going to have the body tag at the end of the head. And then somewhere at the bottom here, let's actually pull this up a bit so we can see it all in one place. Somewhere over here. I'm going to have my close body tag. So there we go. So there, if I click on the body, there's the body and there's the head. They're the two parts. Now, the only thing we've learned so far is that there is actually a title. So first of all, whenever you change your web page, make sure that you save. So I'm going to click on save. So it's saved and I want to view what this looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this in Google Chrome or whichever one you want to run it in. And as I said in the previous lesson, it's a good idea to move it to the one side. So I'm moving it, moving this page. Okay, so you can see there's nothing in it. I'm actually going to move this web page to the right hand side like that. And then I'm going to click on my HTML editor so that it's on the left hand side. So I can make my changes here and then I can see what they look like here. So whenever you make changes, you must always save and then you refresh every time you make a change. So at the, because at the moment you can't see anything. So if let's look over there, do you see it says the name of the web page, home.html? So I'm going to put in a title now. And I'm going to say Mr. Long Cat. And then I'm going to close the title. Okay. So this is for computer application technology. Let's make it Mr. Long Education. I like that one, Roy. There we go. Mr. Long Education. So that's the title of my page. I'm actually going to put a dash home. Because I'm going to have lots of pages. So there's the title. You can see that it closes. There's the head. There's the HTML. There's the body. And then I'm just going to click on. So at the moment, you see nothing's happened. But if I click save and then I click refresh, now you can see my, my web page has a nice little tab. And so that's the basic structure of our web page. Now we're going to take this and go edit stuff in the body in our next lesson. If you want the links to the other videos in the series, go look at the description of this video and go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.